What's going on guys, Bank Bubble Games here, more Fallout 3, Tale of Two Wastelands, and last episode when we left off we completed the quest, uh, The Waters of Life, uh, which is a very iconic quest and an important quest to the main story of Fallout 3, which is really cool, so I recommend going back and watching that if you haven't seen it, and by the end of that quest we do make our way over to the Citadel, which is where we are now, and there's a few more things that we need to do in the Citadel, a few things that I want to point out to you guys. Uh, we're going to save that for the time being because after we complete the Waters of Life quest we have a limited opportunity to complete another quest uh, which is quite cool and it took me quite a while to actually realise that it was a quest that could be done. Um, I missed it in my first couple of playthroughs of the game because like I said there is a limited time to do it and that's going to be a quest called Trouble on the Home Front where we go back to Vault 101, which is really interesting. So, all you need to do is after completing the quest, the Waters of Life, where we escort the scientists back to uh, the Citadel, you're going to want to hang around outside Vault 101. You don't need to be directly here. You can pick the signal up in Megaton. I think that was the first time I actually um, realised that you could do this quest. I actually picked up the radio signal in Megaton. But as long as you're relatively close to Vault 101, uh, you should be able to pick up the radio signal. So we're just going to wait and continually wait until we pick up that signal. And I'll meet you guys there after we uh, can receive it on our pit boy. does give us the quest trouble on the home front so I did actually completely miss that we did pick up the signal immediately when we traveled to vault 101 but I like do like completing this quest as soon as we complete the waters of life uh, main story quest just because we do have a limited time to uh, do it um, if you advance the main story too far and I think even if you let too many in-game days pass um, you will be locked out of doing this quest. It's quite unique, and there's uh, definitely um, there's multiple outcomes to the quest and multiple paths through it. Uh, so I'll try and cover those as thoroughly as possible as we make our way through the quest. And the quest will also be affected uh, by whether or not you took out the overseer when you initially escaped Vault 101 at the start of the game. So that's quite interesting as well. Um, you know, creates a nice sort of consistency to the game and uh, the player's actions so it's still good old old one radio Uh, things are going to look quite a bit different as we make our way into the vault. So 
stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of... crap. If you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit, and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you, now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Uh, this Officer Gomez does basically hint at your options here. You can either go to the Overseer um, and sort of talk with him, talk with the rebels about leaving the vault, or you can just leave. Uh, but there is another option, and I'll see if I can come across how you um, select that. If I don't come across it, I will uh, let you guys know about it. Yeah, it's quite cool how you know things have changed in the vault, and um, sort of shows off how um delicate the sub their sort of, sort of sort of shows off how delicate their survival is and it's something that i liked about the fallout tv show and um, what happens in that uh, at the start i guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last where do you want to go okay follow me but we're going to talk to amata because she is the one that sent us that message Going to change out our clothing. And again, we do just have like an open quest objective of end Vault 101's troubles. So it's nice that they sort of let thing let you figure out things for yourself. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. And again, we can go through everything that happened with Officer Taylor, but we're not going to worry about that. Because, um, yeah, you don't really learn anything new from what yes, I remember. You do. Don't 
Don't you know enough to stay away? Hey. This guy's getting in the way of Gomez. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. See the overseer there. Everyone's sort of like scared of you being seen with you, which is quite funny. No, oh, some areas you can sort of explore if you really want to. This is obviously where we rescued Butch's mum from the Radwitches. I don't really remember there being any sort of Sir, substantial loot. Other than in your dad's old office. Some jumpsuits. Evening. Evening. who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? So you can also have the option to be a bit more selfish and um, let people get out of the vault. As long as you don't lock the vault down, I'm pretty sure Butch heads over to Rivet City and you can actually recruit him as a companion, which is pretty cool. Catch you later. Well, uh, we're not going to worry too much about that because he's not that great of a companion. and actually came back oh thank 
you. Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. It's just that since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the Overseer keeping us trapped down here. You need to stop him. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. So as far as I'm aware, even if you select uh, specific speech options, it doesn't lock you in to a specific ending of the quest. It's still quite an open-ended quest as far as I can remember. But just uh, in case I wouldn't um, necessarily select an option. I don't know if you can pick the I need to think about this more it's option to, see you to um, prevent you being locked into a ending in case that is the case and you can see here Andy hasn't done such a good job at uh, taking over our dad's duties ah, another patient what a to be eh? appendectomy tonsillectomy hysterectomy ah yes a rather unfortunate incident in all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the Overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new Vault Medical Practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Yeah, it hasn't uh, really worked out too well. Mention of a water chip here. Should be familiar for the older fans of the Fallout series. Good to see you. Well, I don't know how we managed to pick up the jumpsuit there. 
But something to point out is that if you didn't pick up the medicine bobblehead when you first um, were in Vault 101, I'm pretty sure you can still get it. It'll be in this room somewhere, whether it be on the table or uh, something like that. So if you have missed it, don't worry. But then there is this uh, locked, sort of hidden wall safe that we couldn't open before. We can now. So that has some bottle caps, a schematic in it, and um, a hollow tape for us. Well, here we are. Nestled, hey. old, safe and snug inside Vault 101. It's so cold down here. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine. I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole. Take care of our child. But this is our life now. So I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place is an overbearing bully. But I've dealt with worse. Just once double we'll long here anymore. Check. About the You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Aha! I did forget about that. Let's have some uh advanced security armor. Which I think is some of the best armor in the game, if I remember correctly. Here is obviously where we did our target practice with our BB gun right at the start of the game, which is really cool. I'm not 100% sure if coming down here and um, interacting with this guy affects the quest at all. So just take that into consideration. So the, another option uh, that we have is to destroy the vault and force everyone out onto the surface. Um, I think you get some negative karma and I think it, can, it counts as failing the quest as well, if I remember correctly. And I think you do that by doing the um, run the systems purge. That then gives you the option to... Um, destroy the vault. I'm just going to double check to say I'll be certain for you guys. Maybe not. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how you do it. So, just going to reload our quick save there. So, if we... Test the filtration system. Uh, begin the manual service. It says do not run purge. And then uh, you can, uh, if you run the systems purge, it causes the um, vault to blow up. Uh, which is, um, like I said, uh, Sir, searching for targets. 
quite an interesting ending to the quest that it does give you that option and kind of funny that it's to do with the water chip again should be familiar to uh, people that played the older Fallout games or the first Fallout game should I say but other than your dad's safe I don't really remember there being any significant loot be as sort of thorough as possible. I'm not going to enter the overseer's um, office just yet. Sir, I am on the lookout. If we open the jail cell, it makes things easier when we talk to the overseer. You've got to change the overseer's mind. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. So if we talk to Mr. Broch, it gives, I'm pretty sure it unlocks some speech options when we talk to the Overseer, which then allows you to have a peaceful resolution of the quest. So we're going to make sure to go through all his dialogue, just to double check if that is the case. I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else. I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. Watch. Well. Most of them are just kids. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all. It's quite fun coming back to the vault. No. So I'm just going to equip our Chinese staff armor. So I want to make sure to access the overseer's terminal without being seen by him. See always use a stealth bomb. It's quite funny how the loot seems to restock to how it was before when we left the vault.
So you did have the option to read this before when we escaped the vault. And it is a mentioning of the Enclave. And um, I think it's, is it Fallout 2? Yeah, I definitely don't want to re repeat that. I think the overseer is a bit sort of crazy here. Where you can tell that they have actually ventured outside the vault. They do actually know what's out there. Another mention of Stanislaus Braun. of the Gek. We also have the option to open the tunnel. I think that's still an option. I'll do that on the way out. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. Aha! You're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. So we can sort of side with the Overseer, and that, that will eventually let us convince the Rebels to just sort of stay down here and, um, you know, lock the Vault up. But we're gonna try and convince the overseer to sort of open the vault up and let the let the residents sort of go out to trade and things, you know, Megaton's right next door. I'm trying to save my people. Possibly the only pure, safe humans left in the world. Don't destroy humanity's last chance just because you don't like the choices I've had to make to protect it. It's quite funny. Uh that it's very similar to the plot of Fallout 4, or the cause for the plot of Fallout 4, shall we say. To fix what you started? Go ahead, and humor me. I 
Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Then we do have this speech check here. And um, we can even talk to him about raiding the rebels or doing this and you say about how everyone end up being inbred. I think that sort of directly, um, you know, peacefully resolves the quest. But I think I'm not sure if this has the same effect. So I'm just going to What do you want? Let it save. And then try that speech check. I admit in the 200 years since the war our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission. But if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. That gives us positive karma. I'm just going to quick save and then just double check what that other speech option um, allows us to do or how that affects the what quest. Do you want? Damn it! I told them I won't let this degenerate into violence again. The vault simply can't take the instability anymore. But maybe you're right. They simply can't stand the pressure anymore. And now the purity and perfection of my vault is crumbling all around me. <laughs> I wish I my way won't save our vault's mission. But if I but I'm not the one to So it has the same outcome in case you fail that speech check. Which is cool. And then we're going to then talk to a martyr. It's good to see you again. I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As the new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are, and on behalf of the Vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the Vault, you have to go. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. So, if you complete the quest peacefully, you do get the modified utility jumpsuit. And it's basically just a regular vault jumpsuit, but it does increase your luck by one. Also gives you a little bit of radiation resistance, which is unique for the jumpsuit. And again, it's just sort of like grubby. Got the sleeves rolled up on it, which is pretty cool. I think the shoes on it are unique as well. They're red rather than just you know, sort of black boots. Quite cool. I never thought you'd be back. Um, but it's interesting that we're still sort of told to leave after everything we've done. But then I think after a certain amount of time passes, you can actually come across a martyr out in the wasteland. Uh, but you are sort of prevented from coming and going in the vault as you please. That 
does complete the quest trouble on the home front. It's like quite an easy quest to miss. They do change the password so you can't go back in. But other than watching your dad safe in the his office or whatever, uh, there isn't really any notable loot. And we get to exit the vault all over again. Hi, dog meat. But looking how long this episode has been, it's actually quite a long quest. And obviously we had to explore the different options that we had to complete the quest. There's quite a lot of dialogue. But I do like the fact that it's quite an open-ended quest. And uh, like I said, it's sort of hidden and tucked away and easy to miss, which is quite cool. But looking at how long this episode has been, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. And then have a think about what I want to do next episode. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and been enjoying the series so far. If you have been enjoying the series, please like and subscribe for more, and then that way you won't miss out on anything. Also, any mods that I've mentioned throughout the video will be linked down in the description below. I don't think I've actually mentioned any mods this, this episode, but there'll be some mods down there that you might like to try out for yourself. But, thanks again for watching, always appreciate having you guys here, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.